I'm back with Jason from Privateer. Now, yesterday we got a first look at the Judicator. Sure. And you were excited to set things on fire. Yeah. Uh, how'd it go? Well, the games I played yesterday, um, I couldn't overcome the desire to just smash things. Um, when you have a vassal and it's getting full focus because it's bonded, you're basically getting seven attacks. So I got some really good damage rolls at power 22, and um, I took out a, um, an untouched Hyperion twice in one turn. That's sick. So what happened was I was just like, screw that thing's on fire. I just want to beat things up. And did but, you win those games? Uh, I did. Today, I was just like, no, I'm going to like try to get the whole thing. You know the purpose of the army with Fiora and the uh, Covenant on the um, on the errands and try to set things on fire. So the second game I just got done playing, I got eight things on fire at once, and it was awesome because they all started like dying. And I was just what like, do you do when your army's on fire? Yeah, right. Like you just die. That's what you do. You're, you burn. <laughs> Absolutely. So now that you've played, I don't know how many games have you played so far. Uh, six, six or seven, somewhere around that range. Play six, seven games overall. Adjudicator. How good is it? I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Now, I've only played it with Fiora. Okay. And the bond, um, Which helps? allowing it to get four focus and setting everything on fire is pretty amazing. Well, I mean, um, with the choir. Well, and with oh, the um, choir, yeah. I mean, even scatter shots are doing nine power. I mean, Which is great. So, it's so what, what, uh, and if it doesn't die, then it's on fire. <laughs> Which it will die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the odds are that it'll die. So, what, uh, you know, maybe beyond the caster you were using. Are there any other casters that come to mind that you might want to use it with? Well, I mean, Sevy one, he's good with pretty much anything. So, sure. And I think that he would be really good because now you're talking about uh, Matt 9 and Power 10 uh, scatter rolls or uh, Power 23 um, fist to the face. So, Which, never a bad thing. Yeah, no, I mean, he's really good with anything. Um, I think that there's something to be said for, you know, Krios 2, um, I think Resnick, when used correctly, could be a good support caster. I mean, you might be able to do some really cool things with him, too. Um, Resnick can really do some damage himself, so sometimes he just needs a, um, a transport mode. So sure. he just kind of cowers behind the Judicator and then just Which is hard to get around. Yeah. Even if they just beat up on it and kill it. It's yeah, like it's, it's, it's so it's, it's um, I mean, I think there's a lot of casters that will do really well with it. Uh, I think, obviously, Fiora with the Bond is, is the one strong. that most people will play. But Cool. Now... Um, um, you guys recently had a basically a testing of Steamroller 2013 at Privateer. Mm -hmm. Do you think that having this model would have helped you do better? You got fourth, right? I did get fourth. Um, so this is the tough part, and I actually just had a conversation with Nick, my opponent, in the last game. And if you use the Judicator like I was using it, and you're getting three shots uh, with the rocket, mm -hmm. which has basically six AOEs because it always yeah. scatters once. Yeah. Um, it takes a lot of time to roll that. I mean, it takes a, you, you almost have to rely on your opponent to help you Go use enough. your armory. Yeah. Um, because in our 35 point games, we were playing seven minute turns. And seven minute turns uh, go by very quickly when you're rolling six scatters on almost every shot. Yeah. And that's one model. Yeah. Well, that's why I, I run the same thing when I run Typhon because you got the three sprays. Yeah. It's like if you get too much infantry in there, I'm spending six minutes on Typhon. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it would be tough. Um, because a lot of times, even if I go second on the first turn, you know, if he goes first, and then I'm shooting rockets. So even in my first turn, I would have to be like, do I use a extension? Do I not use an extension? Granted, I probably wouldn't, but that might mean I might have to sacrifice some of the actions of my other models. It's, sure. I mean, you'd have to move really quick. So I don't know if I would have played it. That would have, that would have been a tough call. <laughs> tough because, call. Because yeah, I mean, if I did, I just would have had to make sure that the other models in my my army weren't. You know, time consuming. consuming. Quick things. Yeah. So, uh, final question is: I asked DC this. Um, the whole, you know, you guys have been releasing the colossal and gargantuans. Sure. As far as for scenario play, so you've got this giant model that can't be moved, can't be knocked down. So it's great for contesting zones. But you also have like half your army invested in one model. Do you think that colossals and gargantuans are more of a benefit or a negative when it comes to scenario play for you personally? That's a tough one, and that's really what we're playtesting a lot. Um, you know, with 2013. Um, and I think that people will find benefits and cons to it, so it's really up to them on whether they want to utilize them or not. I think you'll also find people playing multiple lists, one with a Colossal, one without, so that they can, depending upon the scenario, that might change how they, you know, which army they pick. Absolutely. So, That's really yeah. cool. 
Well, thanks. Um, glad it worked out for you. Yeah. It sounds like you had a good time. And uh, I did get caned in the face today. That, that wasn't very good. That happens. All it takes is a little sliver between the Covenant and Adjudicator and Fiora's out in the open for Kane. So. <laughs> but I still thought it was a good game. It was That's fun. awesome. That's great. Well, I'm sure we'll be seeing you in the panel shortly. Yep. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin.